Hey, how you doing? Um, I wanted to take a minute here and uh, just give a quick uh, rundown of what, what am I gaming on? What am I primarily streaming on? When you watch my streaming videos, when I'm doing my YouTube live streams or sometimes Twitch, whatever, um, I'm doing this because I, I every, almost every time I stream, I get questions about, oh, hey, what console? Is this a PS4 or oh, is it an Xbox? No, it's not. This is exactly what I'm gaming on, what you see right here. Uh, it's about a six six year old setup. It's it's a it's a PC. Um, it's Intel based, and uh, what it what what it is, it's really old. That's what it is. I mean, for lack of a better word, but it works. It's based on uh, an Intel uh, Core i seven eight sixty, which is a, a socket 1156 processor. So basically, the first generation of core processors uh, that came out. Uh, so you're talking 2009, 2010 vintage. Uh, there's 8 gig of RAM in here. Um, uh, DDR3200 or DDR3-3200. Um, it still uses a spin and disc. It's got a Western Digital Caviar Black in it. That's what the game's on. All my discs are that. Um, so uses a removable drive bay, all that good stuff. But I'll have to give you a little closer up look here what I uh, actually game on. We'll start with the most basic thing, which is the keyboard. And the keyboard is a Logitech uh, G110 gaming keyboard. Um, has switchable illumination, all that. But right now the lighting doesn't, I don't have the driver load, so I can't switch the lights. But um, it's a pretty good keyboard. I use it for other things too. And I've, I actually did a review on this keyboard and the mouse next to it which is a Logitech Marble Mouse, uh, an M570. I've had this about three years now. It seems to be do doing pretty well. I've only had to change the batteries in the mouse twice. so um, Probably not the ideal mouse for gaming, but it works for me. And I use, I use trackball mice. I don't use a regular mouse. So then I just can't justify hundreds of dollars for a mouse. But uh, moving on, if I play games like GTA V or Lego Star Wars, I'll use this controller, and it's a, uh, it's a Microsoft, it's an Xbox controller for PC. And it hooks in via USB. Uh, monitor. The monitor is a Dell 2407 WFP. Uh, it has picture-in-picture -picture capability, basically a 24-inch monitor that has uh, maximum resolution of 1900 by 1200. Um, so it's an older monitor, too, um, kind of a salvage buy. Um, what do you hear me on? What am I talking on? I use the uh, camera in this, uh, or the microphone in this camera, which is a Logitech. It's a, I think it's a C20. It's a 720p camera, so nothing great. I usually don't uh, do any stream video of myself or anything like that because it just kind of bogs down. As far as the system itself, uh, what is it running? I know my finger's in the way there. I'll try to show you here. Uh, but it's, uh, again, it's a Core i7-860 running on an Asus P7P55D motherboard. And I'll try to bring that up. Yeah, go ahead. Um, operating system I run, I run Windows 7. I, I won't run Windows 10 for gaming. It's just not something I enjoy. There's just way too much overhead. But I'll try to get in here if you can see this. You can see the, uh, there it is. There's the processor, the RAM. There's kind of all the vitals of it. And uh, I'll bring up the main board here. There you go. That's the board I run. And the RAM. Um, See, it's Corsair. So, uh, as far as the graphics, the graphics are as, just about as vintage as, as the rest of the system. It's uh, AMD Radeon HD 6970 with 2 gig of uh, video RAM, uh, GDDR5. And really, that's, that's about it, guys. Um, as far as the case, case is a Cooler Master case. It is a uh, CM Sniper. 
Um, pretty decent case. Uh, run a, a 610 watt uh, PC power and cooling power supply in here, which now you know it's old because they've like really not been in much of a force in the past few years. But um, you know, got a couple of fans and that in there. Really, other than that, there's nothing that special with it. I use removable drive bays. It's got a DVD burner with light scribe that nobody really cares about anymore, honestly. But I use removable drives um, with an IC dock bay. Um, SATA drives, of course, but one of the reasons I do that is I use this rig for more than gaming. So I like to be able to uh, easily switch between OSs and such. Um, and let me uh, prove to you here. Let me see if I can get the uh, Catalyst Control Center up here, you'll see. Uh, up till recently, this was really the best thing I had, the best card I had. Uh, my buddy Tom, uh, Shot Glass actually did me a real good turn over Christmas and actually gave me an, uh, uh, Intel, oh, not Intel, an NVIDIA GTX 970 4 gig card. Uh, but that's on my other gaming rig. That's the one that I keep over at his house. So that's not what this is. But um, and there you can see the specifics of the Radian. So this is it, folks. This is actually what I game on. This is what I game on. This is what I stream on. This is this is it. This is this is the full skinny on it. So. Nothing more I can say to it. I mean, the video card doesn't even have an overclock on it. It's, uh, you know, 880 megahertz uh, GPU speed with 1375 uh, memory. So you're talking 1.7 gig of uh, bandwidth. Big deal, right? So, yeah, I can't run games with all the eye candy unless they're maybe a little older game. But, you know, it's it's a D, at least it's a... Well, yeah, it's a DX11 card, so it will handle most stuff that's out today. But that should answer all the questions, I think. I mean, it's it's not a console. I don't have a console. There's there's nothing in this rack. There's nothing here that is a console. I, this is if I game and I'm at home, this is what I'm gaming on. So that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. That's it. Talk to you later.